Hey, what's up folks, how's it going? This is Watch. Hope you guys are all doing well. So we've been doing a lot of testing with the RTX 2060. We've done a comparison against the uh, NVIDIA GPU lineup, but let's do a comparison with the comparable AMD uh, graphics cards that are gonna kinda be competing against uh, the 2060 for the time being. So specifically we're gonna be comparing the Vega 56 and the RX 590. You're gonna be taking a look at the uh, specification breakdown first, and then we'll get right into the synthetic and real world benchmark results at 1080p and quad HD resolution. And then we're gonna come back for a summary. So if you're interested, let's get right into it. Now in summary, in pretty much every scenario that we encountered, uh, the RTX 2060, we were using the Zotec AMP edition specifically, is faster uh, than our factory uh, reference card of the Vega 56. Uh, so in a lot of cases, this is good news, especially if you're gonna buy brand new. Now certainly you could find a Vega 56 in the used market for a competitive price, but brand new, uh, a Vega 56 uh, typically goes for somewhere around the low $400 mark, and you can get a 20. 60 uh, for around 350. This specific one over here is around 370, 380. So still slightly cheaper. And keep in mind, this is a brand new MSRP pricing. Sales will happen and the pricing will become a lot more competitive on uh, the uh, 2060 as we go later down the road. Now, next month, we're going to see the launch of the new Radeon 7 GP, which is going to compete uh, more directly against the RTX 2080. But hopefully, we find uh, lower tier GPUs from AMD that will compete against. Uh, 2070 and a 2060. So we'll definitely uh, keep you guys posted uh, once those GPUs become available to us. In the meantime, I want to thank you guys so much for your support and uh, thank you for continuing watching our video and supporting the channel. It's a big, big, uh, highly appreciated fact that you guys do so. I want to give you guys a big thumbs up and hopefully you can give me a thumbs up as well. And make sure you have notifications turned on so you get our videos once they become available to you. That'd be really awesome to see. Uh, but in the meantime, Thanks again for watching. We'll see you later. Take care.